Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna analyze as usual the Bitcoin price and have a look here in the short term but also in the long term what are the expectations because we are right in here in the calm before the storm my friends we're gonna see big volatility coming back here pretty soon we are currently just trading sideways but it looks like that bitcoin is gearing up here for another big move and you definitely want to trade this because you can do really nice gains if you're taking the right trades right now so before we start with the content thank you very much for all your support my friends we are hitting records here with every video and also have to do a big warning here because we have a lot of scammers uh, here in the comment section so be very careful don't fall in the scammers traps here where it says that you can get a lot of money if you call this number or contact uh, those scammers over on uh, telegram or wherever so don't fall into these traps my friends there are also some scammers that have uh, copied my own name like this one over here you can see that this is a scammer this is giving you like a phone number which of course uh, will lead into a scam so don't get into these scams if you want to contact me then contact me over on discord directly and I will never share any kind of phone number or email here in the comment section. So make sure that you're not falling into these scammers. This is a big warning, not only here on YouTube, they are also over on Twitch, Discord, wherever uh, you are in the social media space. Make sure to don't fall into these scams, especially here in the crypto space, because they want to get your crypto. So that's why make sure to don't fall into these traps. Be very careful and um, in my channel i will never give you any kind of phone number or email just contact me over here on discord if you have a question or if you need for example access to my own indicator or whatever then contact me directly on discord with the official links that you find down below here in the video description and this is very very important because if you're new in the crypto space and you have a lot of questions then this can be very dangerous if you just post it here and the scammer is replying to you so make always sure that you are in a legit chat like we have over on discord you can join our free discord trading chat completely for free down below here because we have a great crypto family and there are no scammers in our discord trading chat so that's why make sure to join here if you have any kind of question especially if you are new in the crypto space and uh, if you need any kind of recommended exchanges where you can easily buy cryptos then just check out all the official links down below here in the video description not in the comment section because with my links down below here you get automatically to the best exchanges like Binance for example Swissborg or Coinbase and with my invitation links you will get also some free money and some free bonus so if you put the first uh, deposit on those exchanges you will get also some free money as well so you can buy even more cryptos all right my friends now let's start with the video because currently as you can see here in the four hour time frame bitcoin is perfectly bouncing here from the 20 moving average so the trend is clearly still shifted to the upside bitcoin is looking very bullish and we should expect to break from this resistance at twenty thousand dollar pretty soon the only problem is that in the higher time frames we still have a big warning sign that could lead into a massive correction before we definitely gear up here to break 20k and go to new levels so in the four hour time frame so in the lower time frames of course you don't see these big warning signs because here currently we're just trading sideways along all the moving averages and as long as we are trending here above the 20 moving average and above all the other moving averages you can see that the trend is still shifted to the upside and the bulls are in control right now so in order to have a confirmation that we will straight shoot up up here towards $21,000 potentially even higher is as soon as we're gonna have a four hour close at least above $20,000 so this will confirm that we will head towards new potential resistance points here at around $21,500 and if we're able to push higher potentially even up towards $24,000 before maybe we're gonna see a possible pullback because a pullback will come sooner or later and in the bigger time frames you will see see why 
and uh, we can also have a look into the Bollinger Bands right now here in the 4 hour because here you can clearly see that we are correcting back down to the middle line and here in theory we should see a bounce from it and fight again the top here at $19,700. As soon as we're gonna have a 4 hour close below $19,000 we could see a correction at least towards $18,500 here in the lower time frames. Why I think it is possible that we will see a correction also here during the day is because stochastic shifted to the downside and KST and MACD are looking quite toppy. So this is looking like that we're gearing up here for a potential $18,500 retest pretty soon. And if we go over now into the daily time frame, here you can see that we are still trading above the 9 day and 20 daily moving average, which of course is very bullish and we are perfectly bouncing here from the 50 level in the RSI. So the daily suggests that we will see a big bounce here and potentially break 20K pretty soon. But as long as we don't have at least a four hour close or even better a daily close above $20,000, we don't have the breakout confirmed. So we still have to wait here to enter into a trade. So if you want to long, then wait till we're gonna break 20K and also confirm it as a new support. And at the same time, if we will fall below this $18,000 area or already as soon as we have a daily closes again below the 9 day or 20 daily moving average and also confirm it as a new resistance similar like we had over here then maybe you can start to scale in some shorts if you want to short but since Bitcoin is still in an uptrend and even if we would fall towards $14,000 we will still maintain our bullish structure and that's why I think it is not very wisely now to put a short even though we could be in a massive correction but since Bitcoin is still looking great especially for the next couple of months and years you should consider to look for very good long entries and also try to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible also without opening some shorts better to look for good long entries and uh, we can also have a quick look into the CMEs here because in the daily you can see that currently we are trading also here above the 9 day and 20 daily moving average but you see already here in the daily time frame that we have some future gaps uh, below of us and of course uh, if you believe that they will get filled sooner or later then we will need to see such a correction at least to close these gaps down here at around 18,000 potentially even towards 17,000 pretty soon because in the bigger time frames we are still looking a bit exhausted but it is also possible that we will see some continuation to the upside towards 21,000 and higher before maybe we have this final correction that could be looming behind the curtains my friends and uh, now let's have a look also into the Bollinger Band in the daily because here we are still trading on the bullish side. The top currently is at 20,140. It is very likely that we will go over 20K before maybe we're having a correction. So if you're entering a short, then make sure that you DCA into your short and not get liquidated and don't go with high leverage in if you think that we will see a bigger correction because the price can also easily go first towards 21,000 and higher before maybe it's having a correction. And the correction will come for sure. The question is only how low we will go and uh, here we also have MACD and KSD still shifted to the downside uh, stochastic is coming back into neutral condition so let's see if here we can go into overbought condition before we gearing up here for a correction or if here we are getting already a top and we could start the correction let's see the week is still early most of the times we see a lot of price action between the middle towards the end of the week so let's wait and see the most important thing is that you keep patience and wait for good entries if you want to open up a short or a long position and uh, now we can go over into the weekly time frame because here we still have this sell signal flashing as you can see here as long as this one is flashing here we still are in high risk for a bigger correction we are still overbought here in the RSI so a correction at least towards the nine weekly moving average at $16,800 is very likely and at the same time we will also close the CME gap that we have right here at $17,000 so that we will revisit this area down here I think it is very likely especially for this week or maybe next week 
and uh, I think if we're coming down to these levels it is also likely that we're gonna start to trade also between $17,000 and $14,000 again potentially even go down here to test the 20 weekly moving average at $14,000 because this is usually where Bitcoin always retraces during a bigger correction especially here in the weekly time frame and since we had here such a big parabolic rise up I think it is also very healthy if we come down here to retest and confirm these important supports that we created now here between between 17,000 down to $14,000. So if this correction is not happening this week or latest next week, then I really don't know when we should correct here because we cannot go just straight up. We always have to come down, confirm support and then bounce again to the upside and go into new levels. So if this correction is not happening this week or next week, I think we will just blast through 20K and who knows where we're gonna top out because based here on the weekly time frame and here on the weekly charts it is supposed to have a correction right now at least towards the 16,000 to 17,000 dollar in the worst case scenario even down here to the midline of 14,000 dollar because the Bollinger Band is also suggesting that if we're gonna have a correction to the downside right now which is very likely 17,000 dollar will be tested for sure maybe even here the midline of 14 thousand and don't get me wrong my friends bitcoin is looking very bullish try to accumulate as much as you can especially if we have this correction this correction could be a really good long and buy opportunity so this is not a sell warning or anything like that this is only a good buy opportunity if we're coming down to these levels uh, it is also okay if you just buy some bitcoin right now because for the long term it will not really be important if you bought in at 20k or at 14k in the future it will be probably more important if you sold and took profits a little bit at uh, 100k or 200k or 300k who knows but this will be way more important than if you entered right now at 19,000 or at 14,000 dollar and till we get to those targets my friends a lot of time will pass and also a lot of pump and dumps we will see and that's why you also should keep an eye on these potential corrections because those are usually always good buy and long entries so if you just buy and hodl then wait for the dips and be ready on Coinbase, Swissborg, Binance or wherever you're buying Bitcoin to scale in some nice buy orders already now because I think if we're gonna have a massive correction towards those targets down here it will be very fast and you definitely don't want to miss out these buy opportunities so it is also okay if you already put and scale in some buy orders between this area over here and of course if you are a professional trader and if you are trading cryptos with leverage then of course over on Bybit and Femix it is very important that you're taking these opportunities when the price is coming down and of course also when it's coming up again especially now on Bybit since we have this tournament going on this Christmas jingle brawl where you can win up to 12 Bitcoin currently and also some other nice prices so definitely take advantage of this volatility that is coming in here in the next couple of hours and days and if you want to try out Bybit and Femex where you can trade Bitcoin up to 100x leverage so even with small money you can do very nice gains then use the sign up links down below here in the video description because with my invitation links you will get $90 bonus on Bybit and $80 bonus on Femex if you fulfill all the deposit requirements and also here you find the other exchanges that I recommend you such as uh, Prime XPT where you can also copy trade other traders if you don't want to trade at your own or you want to try both your own trading and also copy trading other successful traders then sign up to Prime XPT with my link down below here put some Bitcoin here on the exchange and then just click here on follow the trader that you want because like this you can also do some very nice gains the top trader here for example has right now over 3000 percent in gains so even if you put like 100 dollar worth of bitcoin in it here you would have done 30x right now so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget to subscribe here to the channel very important i do daily ta videos also join me over on twitch and discord you find all the links down below here to follow me and if you have any kind of question put it down below here in the comment section or join our discord trading chat very important don't fall into this scammer's trap my friends so hit that like button and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye